Hello, and welcome to Claire's World. I am Claire, and today I would like to share with you more information I've received from 25th Dimension during my last BQH hypnosis session. I'll be reading from a transcript, and when I refer to Lorraine, I'm speaking of the practitioner who will be asking me questions that I prepared in advance of the session. And when I speak of me, I'm talking about myself under hypnosis, which means that the answers are coming from the 25th. And today we'll be covering some behind the scenes 3D stuff that I have questions about and that you might find of interest as well, because it's always a good way for us to get the pulse of what's going on. All right, I'm gonna jump in here, but before I do, I would like to thank you as always for, for subscribing, liking and commenting on this video. I really appreciate that and it does make a difference. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Lorraine, a year ago in Beirut, Lebanon, there was an explosion near the harbor that killed many people. Rumor has it that it was controlled to destroy an underground base or a place where evil things were being done. But today, the Lebanese have lost 90% of their purchasing power and the government is still in place. What's going on there? Me. Yeah, so we already said that we like to believe, or the intel community wants us to believe, that the white hats are in charge of everything behind the scenes, et cetera, et cetera. We already said that's not true. Are they doing a lot of stuff? Yes, absolutely. Are they changing things in 3D? Yes, absolutely. They are, they have been, and they'll continue to do it. So the explosion did happen for that reason. It was clearing something. It wasn't just an accident, in other words. And at the time, the government did resign, actually, in Beirut. The administration resigned in Beirut. But who else are they going to have come in? What else was there to be expected? More dark people. Because, again, the people attracted to this power, this type of thing, came in. And even if they weren't originally on the side of the dark, they definitely got bribed and corrupted and brought in right away. Because, again, you either walk the line or you're going to be taken out physically. This is not good, right? And so you might as well go along with things. So yeah, I mean, they're just as corrupt as it was before. And of course, you're seeing it in reality. The monetary power of the people has been reduced greatly. It's a way to keep control. And again, this is also a response to what's happening, to what the White Hats were doing. Because of course, the dark is also fighting back. Says, oh yeah, you try to take control? Here, watch this. And isn't it the easiest thing in the world to devalue a currency? It is the easiest thing in the world. All you have to do is press a button on the computer and you make up all the exchange rates. Everything is made up. Make up the exchange rates or basically get the speculators to gang up on a country. So easy. It's been done in Italy so many times, against Italy so many times. So Claire is very familiar with this. Yeah, it's just the way it is. I mean, again, we'll say it again. The dark really has a very encompassing, all-encompassing system set up. It is that easy to manipulate the economy, the financial systems. The financial systems and the economy are not real. They basically depend on these people coming in and deciding what the economy is going to be. You know, the only thing that's real about the economy, we would actually like to make this point, is your labor, my labor. These are real things. When we build things like houses, these are real things. This is why they undermine them all the time. This is why they've been trying to shut down businesses. This is why they've been trying to destroy people, to say you cannot work unless you take the, this thing. Either you do this, which means you're in our power, you're just going to be sick or something is going to happen to you, or we're going to take your job. Why? These are the only things that hold an economy in place against all the government and institutional manipulations. This is why they're attacking these things. This is why they have, for example, movements where they burn down buildings. Because the only things that are real, that contain, that maintain power for people are their labor or physical effort and housing. Anything concrete that we create. The world of the banks, the world of corporations, the world of government is not real. It is not material. It's just ideas that they impose. That's why they come in and impose these ideas. We call them laws. We call them rules. Impose these ideas to mess with our systems because we hold the truth. We hold the only thing that affects the economy, reality in a real way. This is why the banks cause these crashes every few years so they can come in and absorb all the housing. This happens because the only real wealth is housing. 
everything else, there are numbers that are not real. The stuff that they create, when they give you a mortgage or whatever it is, these things are not real. They're just numbers on a computer. And here I wanted to let you know, I don't know if you're familiar with this lady. She is absolutely brilliant. Her name is and she actually was, I want to say she was finance minister or, or something under Reagan's administration, I believe. At any rate, she has become a victim of the system herself. She was targeted by the dark because of the stuff that she was talking about. And so she's been through the grinder, but she has incredible knowledge of the system. And she's putting out, she actually puts out a lot of, I think she has a YouTube channel. So definitely, uh, check her out because it is incredible. And she was even talking about the fact that, for example, when the burnings in the streets or buildings happened a couple of years ago, they were only happening around different cities, but they were only happening within a very tight range of certain areas because what was happening is they were using these people because we've all seen pictures of where the protesters were given bricks to throw into things. They were seen starting fires. Basically, it was all manipulated. It was all made up. It was all financed by the dark. And, uh, and this is not to undermine in any way what the idea is, which is there are parts of society here, not that everybody has been <laughs> shared, but there are parts of society, like, for example, African-Americans, but also other people in, in our society that have been so mistreated. I mean, this would we could talk about this for a month. So, but the reason I'm saying this is because I'm bringing this up is because the movement was created not to help any of these people get any type of redress, but it was created to, again, manipulate all of us. And uh, it's so it was basically um, a controlled movement that was done to clear certain areas of cities where uh, investors, like rich investors, we're talking about corporations, could come in and purchase property very, very cheaply. And she has, as I said, she has videos about this. It's incredible. When multiple locations, when this happens in multiple locations around a country, it is not by chance. It was incredible, the work that she did. Definitely, uh, if you check her out, you, you won't regret it. It really is eye-opening in many ways. And if I can find her video, then I don't know if I can, but if I can find that video I'm referring to, I'll definitely link it below because it was mind-boggling. Not surprising, but really <laughs> incredible <laughs> at the same time. All right. So Lorraine, thank you. So I have a question that I'm just going to insert in here. It kind of relates to what you just said, but it just popped into my head. Given that we have NPC bodies, they're kind of on autopilot, even if their essence are gone. The NPC bodies are just performing what they've always performed. So if they were on the team of the dark or the middle, leaning towards the dark as an essence, they would just keep doing the job that they did, even if it's dark, correct? Me. So what we've explained is that, generally speaking, yes, they are an autopilot. However, NPCs are very much absorbing the energy. They're very much going with the flow of things. What do we mean by flow? What is the flow? The flow is the energy on a planet, the vibration on a planet. So generally speaking, what you're saying is correct. But what's happened recently, because we are in charge, the vibration of the planet has changed and is changing and it's going towards the light. So a lot of people who... A lot of NPCs who were on the side of the dark or working for the dark are now not working for the dark anymore or finding excuses, not consciously, but they're finding excuses not to do these things anymore. They're just not attracted because, again, NPCs just follow the majority, right? We used to say they follow the majority. Really, what they're following is the input of the essences, the clues that the essences leave. And so what we're doing is we're actually energizing the light side we're no longer energizing, supporting a lot of dark ideas. So for example, we used the example in the last session of the, and this is a, in the United States. A lot of people are resigning. A lot of people are retiring. A lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, I have these symptoms. I'm sick and I can't finish this dark job anymore. I might not call it a dark job, but it was a dark mission. And they used to think it was normal, but now they just don't feel prone to following through with it anymore. And again, this is the NPC that basically doesn't have the essence pushing anymore. 
And now they're just following where the energy is going and the energy is going towards lighter things. We are not, you and I for sure, are not energizing the this anymore. We're not supporting that anymore. So of course they have problems hiring new people and finishing jobs. And I'm not gonna cry about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be quite all right <laughs> with the state of affairs. Lorraine, thank you, that's helpful. <laughs> And she was laugh laughing. I think we're all happy to hear this. Okay. Is it true that some animal species like cheetahs and rhinos are going extinct in the wild? Or is it this just another scare tactic? Humans only cover a small portion of the world, so there's much wilderness we are not even aware of. You've told us that some essences are tired of incarnating into certain animal species, so they do go extinct. But I wonder if what we hear on TV about these things is actually true or is it another skies falling scenario? Me. Yeah, so both. So it is true that animals sometimes get tired of incarnating in certain species. But it's also true that many times on TV, they make us, they just want us to be afraid. And so, yeah, it's always the sky is falling one way or the other. And so a lot of this is true. We don't know that there might be a lot more certain type of animal in the wilderness, and we just don't know. But we like to say that we know everything. We like to say that. Oh my God, you know, we're killing all these animals. It's all scare tactics. Now, does that not happen? Do farmers, for example, not kill a lot of wild animals? Yeah, they do. And is that a good thing? Not necessarily. But yeah, it's not exactly as usual. You can imagine it's not quite the way that we hear it described on television. We would be well advised to just not listen to television in general because it's always mostly untrue. Lorraine, right. why did the, and again, it's a, so why did this raid? The excuse is that he has taken some confidential documentation out of the White House. Is this still as evil as usual? Me. Yeah, so we're just talking about this agency. They are as evil as usual in the sense that it's not like it's turned to the light all of a sudden and they were laughing. So yes, they're doing the same things they were doing before. However, they don't have the same resources. And we don't just mean in terms of financial resources to pull off certain things, but they also don't have people to pull off certain things anymore. Not only, again, we said about 500 million people are not here anymore, not even their bodies. That's a bit lost for humanity. It's like about 25% of the world population is gone. And so, of course, that's why everybody's having trouble finding people, workers, and this agency is no exception. But also, they are still evil in the sense that they're still being run by the dark, just like before. The dark, we've said, even though they have dwindling resources compared to what they used to command, they still focus on certain things very, very intently. And the most important things, really, that they're focusing on in this country are certain institutions, like this, for example, like the. They can't just let these things fall because if they fall, you can imagine it's going to be complete chaos. They're just going to lose everything and the presidency, et cetera, et cetera. They have to keep these huge centers of power. So, yes, at the, this agency level, they're still attacking everybody who is inopportune. And so that's why they're doing that to. But it's all part of the same plot and the same story, which is also very old and very boring. We already know he is not a person of the light, but he still has been doing things to improve the situation on the ground, just as much as the White Hats have. And we are very grateful for that. So, of course, he's going to be attacked. But again, attacked how? We already know he is gone. So, again, it just seems some more like another twist in the soap opera. I mean... What have they really achieved with that? Do we have any doubt, if we really think about what these politicians have access to, do we have any doubt that any of them did not take information that really did not belong to them and take it and give it to whoever they wanted to? Do we really want to be that naive where we think these people have any kind of morals where they're like, oh shoot, this is confidential, I'm really not supposed to share it. Do you really want to believe, and I'm not saying you Lorraine, in general, do you really want to believe that they have rules, that they apply limitations to themselves? And they were laughing here. Do you see how this makes absolutely no sense? So really, if this agency was after this type of crime, they're saying, oh my God, this is horrible. This is the worst thing that could be done. 
They should have gone after every single president in history, probably. So yeah, it's just a political maneuver, like everything else. It's just another twist in the soap opera. Okay, now they're attacking him. So he's going to do something back. I mean, all of this is very boring, very, very boring. It's extremely, it's excruciatingly boring. I'm like, all right, can we stop focusing on these politicians and the agency? This is all in the past. We don't want any of this, okay? This is annoying, okay? I'm not interested in these plot twists. Here's what I'm interested in. I want all this darkness to be gone. This is why I only focus on one thing, and you know what that is. And it's the recall. They're referring to the recall of the thing. And that's it. The rest is, you know, distraction. Like what's going to happen to me when I discovered that he was investigated for what, four years just because of the Russia connection, whatever that was. It's not like they don't all talk. <laughs> they were laughing. I mean, this is ridiculous how we like to believe, oh, but somebody broke the rules, whether you believe it or not. Maybe you believe it about the other side. Oh, but they broke the rules. What rules? What rules are you talking about? They have no rules, these people. The rules are make-believe rules. Lorraine. Okay, so a friend of mine has mentioned, and she's referring to, I prepared a question, so she's referring to a friend of mine, Claire's, <laughs> not, not Lorraine's. So a friend of mine has mentioned that there's a lot more arbitrary gore in movies these days, which I agree has been for the last 10 years. Why is that? We thought Hollywood had been cleaned out. And we're gonna call my friend Mark. Uh, just so it makes it easier when I'm reading through here to have a reference name. Okay, me. Yeah, so again, not everything has been absolutely cleaned out. We know that because, again, we do want these systems to stay in place. Not only, but there were a lot of people in the middle who are supporting this, including Mark. Why does Mark know about this? Claire didn't know about this. Why does Mark know about this? Because he pays a ticket to go watch it. He might say he's complaining, but he is supporting it. He's physically supporting it. He takes time out of his life to go support these people. He might come back and say, well, I could have done without, but he doesn't stop going. He knows that the next movie is going to have gore. He knows the movie after that is going to have gore. He's okay with it. He tells himself he's not okay with it, but it's not about what you say. It's about what you do. So yeah, he's very resistant to this idea that he's supporting things very actively. He likes to say that he's aware and he doesn't. I mean, well, obviously his actions betray his intention. It's just like we're talking about the people staying in New York. You could say you don't like the government there, but you're still living there, which means you must be okay with it to some degree. Otherwise you will be running, you know, hundred miles an hour. You would have been out of there. In fact, lots of people did leave New York. Those are the people who are not okay with what they saw. They're like, oh, whoa, 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 what's happening here? The rest of the people are okay with that. Do they think in their right mind, if you set them down and say, do you think this will never happen again? Because everything is so different now that this kind of authoritarian regime will never happen again. They've changed nothing. They haven't changed government. They haven't changed laws. They've changed nothing. Do you really, from a rational perspective, do you really think they think that that's never going to happen again? No, they don't. They know that this could happen again. They're okay with it. So this is the thing. And again, there is absolutely no judgment, but it's a matter of, it's what we say that we like to pretend. We like to tell ourselves certain things. If we only watched without judgment what we're doing, we would realize, well, the truth is I'm okay with it. I'm okay with seeing gore. Otherwise I wouldn't go. Claire would be horrified if she saw gore. She would never go again. She would be like, oh, I don't want to have bad dreams for a week. And there you go. That means she's not okay with it. And again, no judgment. Doesn't mean Clay is better than Mark or anyone else. But it's a matter of you can be coherent. If you just watch what you do, you will know exactly what your intention is. I just thought this was so powerful. That's what I wanted to share with you. It really, it really puts things in perspective. And again, not to pick on my friend because I mean we've all we've all done this. Okay, <laughs> so it's just that it was an interesting take when he was telling me insisting that he doesn't like it and he really doesn't want to see it i'm like well well you are going to see it so <laughs> it must be some part of you that wants to see it <laughs> so okay lorraine this is why i don't watch any of that stuff i don't listen to that stuff i try to stay away from that stuff because i don't want to be affected by that stuff me absolutely and it will affect you that's how we support reality right we want that 
The more we want that, the more you pay. Mark is literally paying for somebody to produce more of that because he wants it, Lorraine. And then he wants to continue manifesting that, which is why I refuse to watch it. Me, absolutely, absolutely. But he also wants to say that it's not him. He had nothing to do with it. Please keep in mind, again, no judgment against Mark. He's a very self-aware individual as well in many ways, okay? And of course, he's an ascended master. But you see, he exemplifies exactly everything we have always, all of us, no exceptions, always done on this planet. We have supported things and we have told ourselves, oh, I don't support that. We bank, we are supporting the evilest of the evil, but we say, oh no, but I'm good. Do you see? This is a perfect example. We've all done this. How else would we have kept this reality in place? This is holographic. Lorraine, we are all participating. None of us is better than the others. Me, correct. So this was just a very innocuous example of how entranced we are, how we like to see things a certain way while we are doing the complete opposite. Lorraine, yes, I've been participating in all kinds of bad stuff myself. I'm aware. Me, you're particularly a bad one, Lorraine. <laughs> and they were both laughing, the, the, uh, Lorraine and the 25th, because they do like to have a good time together. I really love these interactions. Uh, and Lorraine, of course, was not saying that she's been doing bad stuff in this lifetime. She's just saying that because she's a very self-aware individual, she does a lot of uh, high consciousness work. She's just referred to the fact she's been doing life reviews, meaning going through everything that would have happened to her at an essence level. And of course, she says she's been involved with dark things. We all have. So it's just inevitable. She's just aware of it differently from uh, many of us. Lorraine, well, none of us has made it through this plane of skates. Me, for sure. And we've learned. We wanted to experience this. We've learned and we're fine. We're moving on. Lorraine, in the Intel community, they were saying that once they announced the death of the Queen of England, Operation London Bridge would go into effect, where they would announce Nazara Jazara. The announcement has now been made. What will happen next? We got from our muscle testing session that they will announce that their evaluation and is our Jazara. Is this true? And she's referring, when she says our muscle testing session, she's referring to a session that she and I had where we were asking what is the purpose of us staying here past the 12th hour really when the takedown should have already happened and everybody else is pretty much already all gone. And also what can we expect to see happen in the next several months? Me. So they will not announce the entire Nazara Jazara plan. What they will do is announce certain, they will not call it Nazara Jazara. Of course, the Intel community, that's what it will call it. We'll say this is part of it. They will announce certain aspects that, of course, the Intel community says, oh, it's part of this. And so there will be certain things that will be talked about. We had already actually explained that certain things will be talked about and we will start talking about revaluation. And we're going to start hearing that trickle down more. And so, yes, yeah, certain things are going into effect because, again, in terms of what the White Hats had planned, this is all one step after the other. A big step was to get rid of the Queen, find a suitable time for the Queen's death to be announced. Now, you have to keep in mind that the Dark also had to be okay with that because they've been using an actor. So to retire an actor for them, it means that they are at a point where it makes sense for them or they got enough pressure where they had to do it, right? And so, as you could tell, things are progressing. And so, yeah, in that sense, it's progress. Yes, they will start announcing things like revaluation or talk about revaluation of currency in certain countries. They might in the beginning say, but it's only limited to that country, meaning that it's only that country that the purchasing power has changed. Because again, this just shows you that it's all fake. These currency exchanges are fake. They're all imposed, arbitrarily decided. And so they can say that. They can say we're just changing in that country. Why? Because it's all fake anyway, where you can. Imagine if this were real, you cannot isolate one country. It would be impossible. But they can do that because, again, it's just what they decide, right? The banks decide they collude because that's what they do. And they decided that that's how they're going to exchange the money. If you come from the outside, as opposed to if you're in the country, they just make a rule. And to them, this is how they control everything. So yes, but they will be talk about it. It will start coming more to the fore to where even I was going to say the masses, but really even the NPCs will hear about it 
This is all part of the step-by-step -step unfolding, but again, we're not gonna get to the end of that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think Tommy, the two, is here to say hi. And thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.